everyone, this is Jay Kalpana here. In this video, we are going to solve a differential equation from higher order linear differential equation with variable questions. So let's get going. Problem solve x squared d squared minus xd plus 1 into y equals to 2 log x. So we are given a differential equation with variable questions and also we are given a Cauchy's equation. We are going to reduce this to a differential equation with constant questions by making a substitution. Okay, given Cauchy's equation. x square d square minus xd plus 1 into y equal to 2 log x. Now put x equals to e pass z. Then log x to the base equals to z for x greater than 0. And let theta equals to d by dz. Here theta is a differential operator with independent variable z. Then xd equals to theta. And x squared d squared equals to theta of theta minus 1. Now our equation becomes theta into theta minus 1 minus theta plus 1 into y equals to 2 into replace log x by z. Then theta square minus theta minus theta plus 1 into y equal to 2z. Right? Then theta square minus theta minus theta is minus 2 theta plus 1 into y equals to 2z. Which is a differential equation with constant equations and also this is in operator form f of theta into y equals to some function of z which is in operator form f of theta into y equals to q of z where f of theta equals to theta square minus 2 theta plus 1. Now we need to find the general solution to the given equation which is given by y equals to yc plus yp. Now we need to find yc and yp. First we will find yc using the auxiliary equation. The auxiliary equation is f of m equals to 0, where f of m equal to, we are having f of theta, theta square minus 2 theta plus 1, right? Let's replace differential operator theta by m, so that we'll get f of m equals to m square minus 2m plus 1. Now our auxiliary equation becomes m square minus 2m plus 1 equals to 0. We can write 2m as 2 into m into 1, and this 1 as 1 square. So this is in a square minus 2ab plus 1, 1 square, I mean plus b square form, right? Which is an expansion of a minus b whole square form. We can write m minus 1 whole square as m minus 1 into m minus 1. Now equate each factor to 0. When m minus 1 equals to 0, we'll get m equals to 1. Since m minus 1 is repeating twice, so we'll get m equal to 1, 1. That is re equal roots. So m equals to 1, 1 are real and equal roots of our auxiliary equation. Therefore, the roots are real and equal. We know that when two roots are equal, say m1 equals to m2, then yc will be c1 plus c2 into independent variable into e power equal root into independent variable. Then coming to our complementary function, our complementary function looks like yc equals to c1 plus c2z into e power equal root into z. This equals to c1 plus c2z into e power z. Now we are having yc in terms of z. So we will write in terms of x by replacing e power z by x and z by log x or log x to the base e. 
then yc becomes c1 plus c2 log x into replace e power z by x, right? So these are required yc. We got yc. Let's now find yp. Particular integral. yp equals to 1 by f of theta into q of z. We have f of theta and q of z. Where f of theta is theta square minus 2 theta plus 1 and q of z is 2z. Right? We can write theta square minus 2 theta plus 1 as theta minus 1 whole square into 2z. This equals to 2 into 1 by f of theta into z. Right? So, see this is a 1 by f of theta into z power k form, right? So, here we will take the lowest degree term common from these two terms. Now, take minus 1 common from these two terms. We will get 2 into 1 by, if you take minus 1 common, we will get, or minus common, we will get minus of, minus theta plus 1, right, whole square into z. See, minus into minus theta is plus theta, minus into plus minus into 1 is minus 1, whole square z. Okay, nothing will change. So, this equals to 2 into 1 by minus of Write minus theta plus 1 as 1 minus theta for our convenience is equals to 2 into 1 by minus of minus sorry 1 minus theta whole square can be written as minus 1 whole square into 1 minus theta whole square into z right is equals to 2 into 1 by Minus 1 whole square is 1 into 1 minus theta whole square into z. Now, we can write this fraction as 1 minus theta whole power minus 2 into z. We can expand this using 1 minus x whole power minus 2 which is equal to 1 plus 2x plus 3x square plus so on. So before going for expansion, we'll find the derivatives of z. Theta of z is, derivative of z with respect to z is 1. Theta square of z is, theta square of z can be written as theta of, theta of z. Derivative of z with respect to z is 1, right? So we'll get theta of 1. Derivative of 1 with respect to z is 0. So, theta square of z is 0. Likewise, theta cube of z is 0. In general, we can write theta bar k of z equals to 0 for k equal to 2, 3 and so on. Okay. So, now keeping this in mind, we will expand 1 minus theta power minus 2 using binomial series formula. 1 minus theta power minus 2 equal to 1 plus 2 into for theta equals to x. Sorry, for x equals to theta, we will get 2 into theta plus 3 into theta square plus so on. This equals to 1 plus 2 theta plus 3 theta square plus so on. Since we know that theta square of z, that is values of z from theta square is 0. So we can neglect all the terms from here. Okay. Why we becomes 2 into expansion of 1 minus theta power minus 2 is 1 plus 2 theta plus 3 theta square plus so on into z. Since Theta power k of z equal to 0 from k equal to 2, 3 and so on. So neglect high 
higher the radius theta square theta cube and so on then yp becomes we are going to neglect all the terms from here okay we'll neglect all these terms then we'll get 2 into 1 plus 2 theta into z is equal to 2 into 1 into z z plus 2 theta of z is equal to 2 into z plus 2 into we know that theta is a differential operator let's replace theta by d by dz for our convenience is equal to 2 into z plus 2 into derivative of z with respect to z is 1 which is equal to 2 times z plus 2 which is equal to 2z plus 2 to the 4. We got yp equals to 2z plus 4, right, in terms of z. We need to write in terms of x. For that purpose, we'll replace z by log x. Then we'll get yp equals to 2 log x plus 4. So this is our required yp. We are having yp and yc. Now we can write the general solution. The general solution is given by y equal to yc plus y. Then y equal to yc. c1 plus c2 log x into x plus yp is 2 log x plus 4. This completes the problem. So we have seen a problem from higher order linear differential equation with variable equations in this video. Hope you'll understand. We'll see you in the next video. Until then, bye bye.